Let's go on to a question on HIV. A 44-year-old female prostitute is HIV positive and is seen with abdominal pain and elevated amylase and lipase levels. She is diagnosed with pancreatitis. She's following a three-drug heart protocol with DDI, ritonavir, and zyotavine. She was placed on terbenafine for a foot fungal infection. Which of these drugs is most likely to, to have caused the pancreatitis? Is it A, didanazine, B, ritonavir, C, zyotavine, or D, terbenafine? Good show, you picked DDI. Now, this is a very similar uh, question that we actually saw in the USMLE and MCC exams every year. You just unfortunately have to memorize this uh, to get this question right. DDI is well known to cause pancreatitis. Up to 30% of recipients will develop it. It is a feared and potentially fatal disease if you don't recognize it quickly. And you should be aware of this fact simply because of the high incidence of pancreatitis. And guaranteed, we, we seem to see it on exams every year. And we do talk about it on the floors and on the wards. So it's a good thing to memorize. Let's go on to a question that I like to call heartburn. A 32-year-old HIV patient presents with polyuria, polydipsia, dehydration, and confusion. Now, she's had blood work done, which shows an acidosis, hypokalemia, and hyperchloremia. The patient is on heart therapy with these three drugs. Which is the most likely culprit for this, this presentation? Is it A, the NRTI? Is it B, the NNRTI, or is it C, the PI, ritonavir? Good job, it was uh, Zytovine. Now the purpose of this question is to reinforce that NRTIs are associated with an increased risk of lactic acidosis. Um, the NNRTI is well known to be associated with skin side effects such as a skin rash, and that can occur in as many as 15 to 20% of patients. It can also cause a Steven Johnson syndrome or a toxic epidermal necrolysis or TEN syndrome. Ritonavir is associated with multiple GI symptoms and skin rash, and we use ritonavir as kind of a booster for other HIV medications. <laughs> 